this video is about insulin like growth factor 1 welcome to our channel internal medicine by dz the online learning platform that provides medical education to healthcare professionals and students to improve their clinical skill and help them in their studies courses careers and research insulin like growth factor 1 or igf1 belongs to a small family of secreted single chain polypeptides that play important roles in growth development and metabolism hepatocytes are its major source of secretion producing 75 percent of serum igf1 in the liver igf1 gene expression is regulated mainly by pituitary gland derived growth hormone although nutrition and insulin also affect its expression in turn serum igf1 regulates pituitary growth hormone production through a negative feedback loop metabolic effects igf1 is classically considered an important growth factor since it stimulates the growth of all cell this effect on metabolism is to provide a signal to cells that adequate nutrient is available to avoid apoptosis enhance cellular protein synthesis enable cells to undergo hypertrophy in response to an appropriate stimulus and to allow stimulation of cell division since igf1 receptors are ubiquitous these responses can occur in all cell types protein metabolism igf1 is a potent stimulant of protein synthesis in skeletal muscle igf1 stimulates amino acid transport but it also is a direct stimulant of protein synthesis and an important inhibitor of protein breakdown fat metabolism igf1 is a potent stimulant of free fatty acid uptake and oxidation in skeletal muscle supraphysiologic uh, concentrations of igf1 also suppresses insulin secretion and this may result in inhibition of insulin's lipogenic effect in fat carbohydrate metabolism igf1 has a glucose lowering effect secondary to its ability to increase fatty acid oxidation in muscle leading to decreased free fatty acid flux to the liver and enhanced insulin suppression of hepatic glucose output now therapeutic options recombinant human igf1 was first available for experimental therapy in the late 1980s uh, what allowed the development of long-term clinical research studies in children with severe primary IGF-1 deficiency. These studies supported the 2005 FDA approval of recombinant human IGF-1 for treatment of severe primary IGF-1 deficiency due to genetic growth hormone resistance from mutations in the growth hormone receptor defects in the growth hormone receptor signaling pathway mutations in the igf1 gene or in rare patients with growth hormone gene deletions but not for other conditions of igf1 deficiency such as malnutrition hypothyroidism and chronic illnesses